What if I told you that castor oil, a centuries-old natural remedy, has been widely misunderstood for years? People have turned to castor oil to treat everything from skin conditions to digestive issues. But here's the twist. Most people are using it the wrong way. In this video, we'll reveal the health benefits of castor oil and explain the common mistakes people make when using it. We'll also guide you on selecting the right type of castor oil to buy and which kinds to avoid. This way, you can ensure you get the best results and prevent any unwanted side effects from choosing the wrong product. But before we dive in, if you've ever used castor oil, kindly hit the like button to show your interest in this topic. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on our upcoming videos. Now, let's explore the active compounds found in castor oil and its health benefits. The active compounds in castor oil are ricinoleic acid, oleic acid, and linoleic acid. Together, these compounds give castor oil anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial, and moisturizing properties. Ricinoleic acid, the main active ingredient, is particularly powerful as it can help relieve pain, reduce swelling, improve circulation, and even fight harmful pathogens. But wait, there's more. Castor oil also boasts impressive benefits for your skin, hair, and overall well-being. From promoting hair growth to soothing skin irritation and improving digestion, this versatile oil has got you covered. For optimal results, apply castor oil topically or use it as a carrier oil with essential oils to boost its effectiveness. Remember, while castor oil is generally safe, it's always wise to patch test it on a small area before applying it to larger areas of your skin. Now, let's get started with the mistakes people make when buying or using castor oil. Number 8. Getting castor oil in plastic bottles You might be wondering, what's the big deal about plastic bottles? Well, here's the thing, plastic bottles, even those labeled BPA-free, can be a problem for castor oil users. Did you know that these plastic bottles can leach chemicals into the oil? Yes, that's true. The ricinoleic acid in castor oil can react with the plastic, causing unwanted compounds to seep into the oil. And let's be real, who wants mystery chemicals in their natural remedies? I mean, that literally defeats the purpose. Now, you might be thinking, isn't BPA free plastic safe? You're not wrong, it's better than regular plastic. However, even BPA-free plastic can contain other synthetic additives that can still contaminate the oil. So, what's the solution? Glass bottles, of course. Glass is non-reactive, meaning it won't mess with the oil's chemistry. Glass protects the oil from UV light, which helps preserve its potency over time. Plus, glass is much easier to keep clean compared to plastic bottles which tend to get sticky and attract dust and dirt. Number 7. Applying Castor Oil on Your Eyes Did you know that applying castor oil to your eyes could actually do more harm than good? Yes, that's right. While this natural remedy offers numerous benefits for skin and hair, using it near your eyes can be risky. Let's find out why. Castor oil contains potent compounds like ricinoleic acid, which may cause irritation, inflammation, or even allergic reactions when in contact with your eyes. Applying castor oil to the eye area can also cause discomfort, itching, and redness due to its strong components. They could equally lead to temporary vision disturbances, making everyday tasks more challenging. However, if castor oil mistakenly enters your eyes, don't panic. Here's what to do. Rinse your eyes with plenty of water for 15 to 20 minutes. Tilt your head to the side and let the water flow from the inner corner of your eye to the outer corner of your eye. Also, take out your contact lenses if you wear any to prevent the oil from getting trapped underneath. Number 6. Using castor oil when you have a dry or sensitive scalp. Have you ever heard the saying, too much of a good thing is bad? Castor oil is a perfect example of this. Although castor oil is praised for promoting hair growth and nourishing the scalp, Using it excessively on a dry or sensitive scalp can actually cause more harm than good. So, 
It's super important to use it with caution in these cases. You see, castor oil is quite strong and can sometimes lead to unwanted effects on delicate scalps. Moreover, some people have reported increased dryness, irritation, and in extreme cases, even hair loss after using castor oil. This is especially important to keep in mind if your scalp is already sensitive. Here's how to know if castor oil is suitable for your scalp. Start by doing a patch test on a small area before applying it to your entire scalp. Watch for any changes in appearance or sensation after the test. If you notice persistent irritation or hair loss, it's best to avoid using castor oil. Number 5. Using castor oil on dandruff When it comes to fighting dandruff, many of us are willing to try almost anything. But what if I told you that using castor oil on a dandruff-prone scalp might actually make things worse? Although some people claim it can help due to its antifungal and antibacterial properties, there's not much scientific evidence to support these claims. In fact, using castor oil for a dandruff-ridden scalp could actually worsen the situation. The reason lies in the lipid-rich composition of castor oil. Dandruff is often caused by a fungus called malassezia, which thrives on the lipids found in oils. So, applying castor oil to your scalp might be like offering an open invitation for the fungus to feast, leading to more flaking, itching, and irritation. But what if you've already used castor oil on your dandruff-ridden scalp? Stop using it immediately and try to reverse the damage. Use a gentle shampoo and conditioner to soothe the scalp and consider using a topical antifungal cream to help control the fungus. Number 4. Taking castor oil when you have diarrhea. Although castor oil is known for its many benefits, ingesting it while experiencing digestive issues could make the situation worse. Castor oil is a potent natural laxative, which means it stimulates bowel movements. However, when you're already dealing with digestive issues, consuming castor oil can worsen your symptoms and make your bathroom trips even more unpleasant. Here's what could happen. Increased bowel movements. Castor oil may worsen diarrhea, leading to further dehydration and electrolyte imbalances. Cramping and abdominal pain. Ingesting castor oil can cause painful cramps and discomfort in your gut, adding to your misery nausea and vomiting. Some people may experience nausea or vomiting after consuming castor oil, which is the last thing you need when you're already feeling unwell. Now, you might be wondering if there's a way to enjoy castor oil's health benefits without worsening your diarrhea. The good news is that you can use castor oil in case of constipation due to its laxative properties. However, this is only advisable if you're under the guidance of your healthcare provider because they know how much is safe for you. Number three, using castor oil before 40 weeks of pregnancy. Pregnant women beware. While castor oil may seem like a natural way to induce labor, it's not without risks. In fact, using castor oil to induce labor before 40 weeks can lead to premature labor and potentially harmful complications. So, why do some women still use it? Let's break it down. Castor oil can be used to induce labor, but only under specific conditions. That's if you're at full term, which is between 39 to 40 weeks, and your healthcare provider recommends castor oil as an option. First, it's a strong laxative that can cause dehydration and electrolyte imbalances. Additionally, women with sensitive stomachs or gastrointestinal conditions should avoid castor oil. And if you've had a C-section delivery in the past, it's essential to avoid castor oil altogether as it can increase the risk of uterine rupture. If you're unsure about using castor oil or have concerns, always consult your healthcare provider or midwife. Number two, getting inorganic and non-cold pressed castor oil. Inorganic castor oil is often processed using chemicals, heat, and solvents, which can destroy the oil's natural nutrients and antioxidants. This processing method can also introduce harmful contaminants, making the oil unsafe for consumption or topical use. Non-cold pressed castor oil, on the other hand, may be extracted using chemical solvents like hexane, which can leave harmful residues in the oil. 
This can lead to various health problems ranging from skin irritation to digestive issues. So, what's the best alternative, you ask? Well, cold-pressed and organic castor oil are much safer options. Cold pressing extracts the oil without the use of heat or chemicals, preserving its natural benefits. Organic certification on this type of oil ensures that the castor beans are grown without pesticides, herbicides, or synthetic fertilizers, making the oil both safer and more effective. One reason organic cold-pressed castor oil is superior is that it has a higher concentration of ricinoleic acid, which provides maximum therapeutic benefits. But that's not all. Cold-pressed organic castor oil also has a richer flavor and better texture compared to non-organic, non-cold-pressed options. Additionally, it's more sustainable and eco-friendly, supporting environmentally responsible farming practices. Number 1. Using castor oil when you have sensitive skin with a history of skin allergic reactions. Applying castor oil to sensitive skin, especially if you've experienced allergic reactions in the past, can be highly problematic. Did you know that castor oil can trigger severe skin irritation, such as redness, itching, swelling, and blistering? This happens because ricinoleic acid penetrates deeply into the skin, potentially causing inflammation and irritation. This can lead to a range of skin allergies, including contact dermatitis, a skin reaction that causes redness and itching, eczema, a skin condition that leads to dry, itchy, and inflamed skin, psoriasis, an autoimmune condition characterized by red, scaly patches on the skin. If you have sensitive skin with a history of skin allergic reactions, using castor oil can worsen existing skin allergies, making your symptoms more severe and frequent. In fact, castor oil can even cause new skin allergies to develop. Here are some practical tips to help you avoid allergies while using castor oil. Number 1. Patch Test Always conduct a patch test on a small skin area before applying castor oil to larger areas. Number 2. Dilute castor oil. Mixing castor oil with a gentle carrier oil, such as coconut, jojoba, or almond oil, can reduce the risk of skin irritation. Number 3. Use sparingly. Begin with minimal amounts of castor oil and increase usage as tolerated. Number 4. Monitor your skin. Keep an eye on any changes in your skin's appearance or sensation after applying castor oil. Number 5. Consult a dermatologist if you experience allergy symptoms after using castor oil. Discontinue use immediately and seek professional advice. That concludes our list of mistakes to avoid when using castor oil. With this newly found knowledge, you should be able to maximize the health benefits of castor oil while also preventing its side effects. You should equally make sure to always use castor oil in moderation and avoid ingestion unless recommended by your healthcare professional. If you found this video helpful, kindly hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you're new here. And you can click on any of the videos showing on your screen right now to discover more eye-opening content about castor oil. See you there.